Hi there, my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Before we just get into the whole spill, I need to talk to you about something. I'm not going to wait until the end of the video to discuss this, and unfortunately, it's not good news. It's actually quite sad news, and um, I, um, I, I hate to have to talk about this, but... You know, if I don't talk about it, it's going to be talked about. So I'm going to go ahead and put this information out there so we can just address it and we can move on. And um, I'm sorry to have to talk to you about this. This is something that I honestly never wanted to have to say, <laughs> unfortunately. But... Um, yeah, so... What? What the fuck? Um... A little accident occurred. <laughs> I don't know what happened, actually. It happened in my sleep. I'm not really sure. All I know is I woke up... And this was the state of my nail. This, the glue still was attached so this was still attached but the top of my nail gone i have no idea what happened this was sad <laughs> very sad and before you come at me screaming clickbait this is not clickbait this is real this is really sad and unfortunately I can't just make another one because if I attach it I'm about to change these nails for my vacation nails so if I put a new one on it's gonna be almost impossible to get off the nail glue that I use is extremely great obviously it broke the nail before it actually came off my nail so this is the situation we're in I am gonna start a new trend here <laughs> So if you can bear with this atrocity, um, I hope that you, you stick around and enjoy the video and ignore this section right here. Um, I will be making my vacation nails, but unfortunately I don't plan to put them on until next weekend, you know, as close to before vacation as I can do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to have this in all this week's videos. I, there's nothing I can do about it. So I hope you guys don't mind looking kind of crazy right now. If you guys ever want to see me, you know, make these nails, let me know and I'll gladly make a video out of it so you can see what I'm doing. I am no professional at all, but I think the process is really cool. So anyway, let's move on. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys have had a blessed weekend and a holiday at that. I am so ready to go on vacation. Not even lying. I am trying to do vacation prep. That's all I've been focused on, mindset on. So that's why there was no DIY video that dropped yesterday. But to make up for that, I figured I would let you guys in on my process of preparing to budget for vacation. So we are going to be styling up my vacation binder, getting it all ready, and the money stuffed in there, and just being fully prepared to budget for vacation. This will be the very first vacation that I have ever fully budgeted on. So I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing how I'm going to make this work and maybe it'll give you some ideas too if you go on vacation. Who knows? If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My channel is primarily based on my budgeting journey using the cash envelope system and we are about to take that one step further and try it out on vacation. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a part of my family. And if you're already one of my current subscribers, hi, how you doing? Without further ado, let's get started, guys. <laughs> So, 
just to let I'm so I'm so insecure. Okay. So, just to let you know, most of this video is going to be time-lapsed for you so that it doesn't take up a lot of time because I do plan on spending quite a few hours on this project. We are going to be ramping up my vacation binder. We're going to make it look good. We're going to make it very functional and something that I will want to use throughout vacation. It is basically going to be replacing my wallet. So I'll give you a quick rundown of my thoughts and plans of what I'm going to try and attempt to do during this video. Um, not sure if I'm going to do any kind of voiceover. I may or may not have time. We'll see. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy watching it. So let's just go ahead and show you what I'm going to be doing. So this is my vacation binder. I already had this pre-made and did all of this with my Cricut. Um, but this part was all by hand because I actually made all of this before I got my Cricut, but it's okay. So I do have these tabs here to indicate my budget, our food, the fun, and the plan. So a lot of these I'm not going to be able to show you. Um, probably the food and the plan I'm not going to be able to show you because I already have things filled out in there, which is going to disclose our location. And I'm not going to do that. No offense to you guys, not that I don't trust you, but you know. So this is the vacation. Um, the first few pages here are my budget for all of the categories I could think of that I might need for vacation, just to be prepared as much as possible. There's one in here that is blank, so I'll need to fill that out, but we have our gas budget our grocery budget, our rentals budget, which I still need to finish filling this out because we did go ahead and spend. Um, our spending budget. This will be our dining out budget. And then miscellaneous. So I have these sections here. Um, I want to go ahead and fill out my budget for each thing. Go ahead and categorize everything. Um, figure out what money I have for what. I'm probably not going to do anything with our meal plan um, because we are probably going to do that with the family we're going with. I'm going to skip these two because it's not really part of this anyway, but I will be adding some more envelopes here, but I want to do something a little different. Now I haven't seen this done in all of the budgeting videos that I've ever watched. I've not seen what I'm about to do be done. And I don't know if that's because it's not a good idea or if it's just not been thought of. Um, we'll see. I'll be the guinea pig for us. So I plan to decorate these up a little bit. I will be using my Cricut for this because I do not have time to decorate all of these necessary envelopes. But um, we will be using the Cricut today. We will be doing a little something different with these envelopes that, again, I've not seen anybody do. We'll see how it works out, hopefully, fingers crossed. And we'll be putting those here. We'll also be stuffing it with our vacation money. And, um, again, filling these out and getting it ready for our budget. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy watching it. Um, and... I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'll play some good music for you. So you want to go to war with me? You're talking like you think you're royalty. You think that I'm afraid, but I don't break. I heard you question my stability. You think I'll fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away The storm is coming So you better start running No, you can't control Feeling my bones I'm coming for the good and for the good
So I have my gas. So I took the zipper parts off because I just am not thrilled with the zippers, but I do like the pouch being zippered. So with these pouches, all you have to do is just press it and then you stick your finger in, open, it's open, and then press it again. So it'll still be zipped closed for protection of the cash. And then I had made these with the tabs. I have gas, I have dining, I have grocery, miscellaneous, spending, and other. So um, I want to go ahead and put these in and see how they look. So in my vacation binder, we're going to flip to the back. It'll be after my card holders. These are 
card holders you just stick your cards in here there's another one here so that will be very helpful since I'm making this as my wallet there's another one here um, this one's like really old I had it in an old thing so and I'm talking like 15 years old <laughs> But it's here, so I might use this for coins, not sure. But I'm going to leave it in there for now. And then let's go ahead and see how these look. I tried to make sure that I measured them correctly. We'll see. So we have other. We have spending money. We have money for just miscellaneous. We have our grocery money. We have our dining money and our gas money. All right, so here is whether or not this works because every time you close these things they slide so let's see oh it works might just be almost can you tell almost there i think the the pin loop is touching it whoo it's a close one but it'll still do and i will have all of that so here in the front we have our trackers for those things I probably will end up getting a lot of this extra paper out because it's not needed I just put it back here for that and any extra papers in here that um, I don't need then I'll take those out as well so it's not so thick and tight in here but overall there's my wallet. So, a quick run through. You've got the budget, which these are my things, my trackers here for those envelopes back there. We have the food. This is just a basic generalization. I do not plan my vacation out like this, but basic generalization of things we could have for the day. And then definitely we do plan the dinners because that's important. So my anniversary is in here somewhere. That'll be a dinner out. Then the couple that we're going with, her husband has a birthday. So we'll be going out on that day as well. So there's going to be a couple of eat out days. And then this was and is our grocery list for when we get down there. Then the fun, I wish I could show you, but I already pre-filled these out. Let's see. All right, I can do this. I'll show you one that's not been filled out. So it's the activity, then the location. So what the location is, the address of where it's at, the hours they're open, any reservations that we make, the phone number to contact them, and the information. So like how much the activity costs, things I need to know. So there's a lot of activities we've already filled out for the local area around where we're staying. I also have on the other side of these the rental companies that we're using to rent our beach gear and our golf cart. So all of that information is there so that I can contact them at any time if we need to while we are on our trip. And then the plan is um, basically designating some of these activities for specific days so that we kind of have a general idea of when we're going to do stuff. And so that's about it as far as budgeting and planning out our vacation. I do have in these, these do have cards. Likely this is where my most important cards will go so that they are easy to reach. So now that we've got these done, let's go ahead and get the cash. So let me just go ahead and tell you that if you watch my channel, you know my vacation binder has prop bills, right? So my husband and I have discussed it. We have decided that we want to primarily stick with um, cash. We want to do cash because 
of the fact that it's easier to track when you have cash. Less likely to just spend freely when you see how much cash you have left over. And I agree with that. So I went to the bank and I went ahead and I withdrew the 1000 2000 2500 2550 and the two dollars so two thousand five hundred and fifty two dollars I went ahead and withdrew so hold on and I put it in this cute little ipsy bag so let's give this a quick count make sure it's uh, two thousand five hundred and fifty two dollars one two three four five six seven eight nine one thousand one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's two thousand one two three four five ten twenty 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 52. Okay, so we have our money here. Let me just go ahead and, yeah. So, since we are gonna be using real cash, we can go ahead and um, divide it up to our categories that we have so that we're ready for vacation. Okay, so this was my initial breakdown. This is going to change. Since we already paid for our rentals and our golf cart, that money is gone and used. So I do wanna change the groceries because we went ahead and purchased a lot of different things this grocery time with the grocery money that we had set aside for this upcoming two weeks. So we're definitely not going to need $500 and $700. So we're not going to need $1,200 total for groceries. 100% won't need that. So I'm probably going to take out $200 from here and leave that at $500 plus they're 500 so that's a thousand dollars for groceries i don't think that we would need a thousand dollars but i'd rather prepare just in case and if we don't end up using it all then great so i'm going to go ahead and move over a thousand dollars to our grocery budget so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's a thousand right here one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll go ahead and put that in the grocery tab, which is here. I like this a lot. Open it up and the money will go right here in the back, like so. Close it back up and we're good to go. So groceries has been taken care of. Now gas, we did set aside $500 for gas. So one, two, three, four, five, $500 for gas. So let's flip back to the gas, open it up, and we will put the 500 in here. Close it up and we're good to go. 500 is in. And then we did want a thousand dollars for our spending budget. So I'd like to stick with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So thousand dollars for our spending budget. And now it's in. All right, so we've got that handled. 
So handled, 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 that's paid, that's paid, handled. And then I left a 250 into miscellaneous. So I'm thinking that I want to do probably, I'm going to say 400 maybe even 450 I don't know how much money we have left over let's see 1 2 3 20 40 60 80 400 20 30 40 50 so that's 450 70 75 80 85 90 95 96 97 98 99 500 right so five hundred dollars is what we have if I do let's see one two three twenty forty sixty eighty four let's do four fifty for groceries and then fifty for miscellaneous so let's go to dine And we'll put this 450 in dine. And then in miscellaneous, we'll put this 50. Now, full disclosure, let me count this really quick 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Alright, so we'll put this in miscellaneous. So, full disclosure. My husband has another festival this weekend, and he is planning to put most, if not all, of that money into our vacation. So, I don't know that we will actually need it, but he wants to be safe and sorry, and he made that money, so that's up to him. So, now we have our gas, which we need to go ahead and write down in our budget gas budget we have as 500 our grocery budget we have as 1000 rentals is already been bought and paid for so I probably even take that out but spending we have as 1000 and then this is dining out which I haven't wrote that down yet I can at least put it where I know it'll be. So dining out, we have four fifty, and then miscellaneous, we have fifty dollars. And it's an erasable pin, so once my hubby gets paid with the side hustle of his, and we decide what's going to go into these envelopes, then we will erase and and change it as needed. All right, so. We are ready for vacation. Well, the budget's ready for vacation. I still have a lot to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too long for you. If you liked it or if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comment below. Also, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Like this video if you liked it. I appreciate you all being here. Um, we will be doing our WTF Wednesday tomorrow. I will try. Let me just say, I will try my best to do the WTF Wednesday tomorrow. I know I need to before we go on vacation for sure, but we go next week. So I'm going to try, but we just have so much stuff that we need to do. I want to get the videos that I do out there. This video is going to replace the DIY custom envelope, obviously. I hope you don't mind. We'll get back to that when we come back from vacation, of course unless I have some just downtime and I can do one. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video, hopefully tomorrow for our WTF Wednesday. And as always, until next time, bye.